Hey guys, Kristen Strout here with Engine Builder and we are at PRI 2024 and I am here with Brian Nealon of Late Model Engines and we are going to learn more about his LT2 C8 Corvette engine and it is our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and Elring Das Original. So we have Brian Nealon here, and I just want to ask you, can you tell me a little bit more about this engine, kind of what makes it special? Yep, so the, the foundation of this engine is our billet LT2 engine block. So we produce this with, uh, it's available with or without water. So if you have a street car, you're going to obviously want uh, a water block. This uh, engine is capable of 2,500 plus horsepower, the way it's configured right now. The engine block is machined in-house. Uh, it's our own unique design. It is a 427 cubic inch engine. We're running our, our own LTX cylinder head here. So unique cylinder head, it has a straight exhaust port as opposed to the standard LT exhaust port. It's uh, the highest flowing cylinder heads on the market right now for an LT engine. All the billet pieces are machined in-house. Uh, this is pretty much the pinnacle of LT2 technology right here. Uh, billet intake manifold, we can run it with or without uh, port injection. So the standard you know, configuration is DI, we run it with uh, port as well to handle the, the big power. You said you have a C8 Corvette? I do, I have the Z06, um, but I will say I just love just the attention to detail. I'm very like aesthetic type person too. And now in the C8, they can actually see the engine, right? So that's an important feature. I think it's pretty cool. That was one of the design yeah. uh, features of this manifold, right? So since the, the bonnet is so tall, we're able to make a massive intake. So this thing it starts out as like uh, 325 pounds of aluminum, ends up as like 24 when it's done, takes about 24 hours to machine this part. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of time and effort into this piece. I know I love the attention to detail for sure. I, I unfortunately have the convertible, so you can't really see my engine, but right. the coupe you can. So, but yeah, in the beginning we were uh, we weren't sure if this was going to fit under the convertible, uh, you know, configuration, but it just sneaks right under there, so works out nice. All right, so I just get the clear cover, so I'm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Anything else? Um, obviously, we know what it's for. It's for the C8, but any other things you want to say about late model I mean, engines or anything? Well, about this engine, it, I mean, this thing is, is just nasty. So 427 cubic inches, it'll turn 8,000 RPM, 2,500 horsepower. Uh, what is, do you know like the weight of it? Is that really like a factor when it comes no, to No, I mean, it, it's, it's an all aluminum configuration, just like the production piece. So there's really not weight savings per se. It's all about strength and structural integrity. Um, but yeah, I mean, so we, we specialize in custom race engines for all GM vehicles. Basically, if you have a CTSV to a C8 Corvette, we've got your car. So if I'm gonna be tracking the car. I ran into issues with uh, transmission heating and a bunch of other issues with my C7 yeah. um, with tracking a street car. So yeah, probably won't really do that. It's one of the challenges of the C8 platform for sure. So hopefully there's some uh, stuff at the PRI show here to, to help out with that. Once we get the transmission unlocked, it's gonna be game over. I mean, wide open to, to start developing the C8 platform. Right now, this piece is really almost ahead of its time where you can't utilize this engine to, to its, its full, full potential. Exactly, yeah. so once we get the transmission uh, set up, game on. Awesome. All right, I'll downgrade to a C8 then, so no, I'm just kidding. Right. Do you have any plans for the Z06 or is there anything with that? We do, it, again, it's, it's a more of like a tuning, the tuning issues are the, are the biggest hurdle. So, you know, some of the after, aftermarket ECU companies are, are hopefully stepping up and uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about that at the show here today. Awesome. I will definitely keep yeah. in touch. Uh, exactly. About yeah, that we'll let sure. you know for grand. sure. Yes. No, yeah. it's exciting, uh, exciting, exciting times for sure. All right. So you were saying some of your components here are the block and the heads. I just just curious kind of how long, like how much machining and time goes into that. So on the cylinder heads, we'll have about seven hours of machine work on the cylinder heads total. The block is about 24 hours of total machine time. Um, one of our newest parts that we have on this engine is our C8 uh, stroker oil pan, right? So the oil pan that's on this engine allows for a stroker crankshaft compared to the, the factory uh, stock stroke, right? So when you go into a four inch stroke on these LT2s, it will not clear. You have to weld on the exterior of the pan. It's just kind of like a, 
pokey way to, to set it up. So we developed and designed a stroker oil pan to give like uh, the opportunity to put a seamless integration of the four inch stroke onto the LT2. Uh, drops right in the car, runs the factory oil cooler, and it's pretty trick. So that set up there, I think it's about 14 hours of machine work on the oil pan itself. Is that something that someone could just get that separately and add to their C8? Yeah, no doubt. So we've, we're selling them to other engine builders, um, you know, individual shops where they don't have to do the modification, they can just bolt it on and go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you telling us a little bit about this engine. And be sure to check out enginebuildermag.com for more info. And also check them out, Late Model Engines, their shop. And see you guys next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.